Today we're heading down the windy roads of the mountain for a Saturday afternoon fishing trip. My husband Nicholas really loves fishing. It's one of the hobbies that he picked up when we moved off grid three and a half years ago. We're taking one of our six dogs, Molly. She's half golden retriever and really loves the water. Nicholas is a real stickler for the rules and he won't fish with anyone who doesn't have a fishing license. So although I'm tagging along today, he won't even let me touch the fishing rods. Today he's using bait from the fishing shop, but usually we make our own, either from boiled dough or soaked chicken food. We just add a little bit of water to get the right consistency so you can make it into a ball. It's a highly scientific method of just chucking it in as best you can. Fishing is big business in Spain. People come from all over Europe and the world to fish in the mighty River Ebro. Today, we're at the Algarve, which flows into the Ebro, and I'm with my husband, Nick, who's gonna tell us a little bit about local laws and regulations, and some tips and tricks. I go fishing two or three times a week, um, usually in the Algarves, which is closer to the Freedom Farm. It's the border between Aragon and Catalonia. And most often it will be on a weekday when the shops are closed in the middle of the day. I'll find the nearest river, which is usually the Mediterranean, the Guadalope or the Ebro sometimes, and go and see what I can catch during the lunch break. So, the main thing you need is a general fishery license issued by the uh, region where you're planning to fish. So in this case, I'm in Catalonian territory and I have a Catalan fishing license. If you want to fish in the Aragon territory, then you will need an Aragon fishing license. And that's what allows you to fish in general. That can be a day license, a week license, or a yearly license for about 20 to 30 euros. And then uh, if you're fishing in a special fishing area, it's called the uh, Coto de Pesca Deportiva, like the Mar de Aragon, um, which is like the Lake Caspe, then you will need an additional ticket called the Coto Diario, where you pay three or six euros uh, to fish for one day because it's a special fishing area. But if you're fishing outside of that area, like here, it's not a special, uh, area so the general fishing license is fishing. Catalan fishing license is about 26 euros I believe for a, for one year. Depends if you want catch and release, if you want to be able to also keep the fish it's about maybe three euros more a year and you purchase it online. An Aragon fishing license which also can be done online it costs about 30 euros I think for the year. And obviously, it's always more value for money to just buy a year license as opposed to a day or a week. And for the special daily tickets, they can also be purchased online um, from the same website as you purchased your Catalan fishing license. You can select the special region. Usually in Catalonia, the day ticket is about €4.50, whereas in Aragon, 
fish in Caspe, for example, the day ticket uh, for regular license holders is six euros for one day. The first reason you should have a license is to contribute financially to the Fish and Wildlife uh, Agency uh, or department of the area you plan to fish in. They, it's good to let them know that people are coming, people like to fish and supporting them with 20 or 30 euros a year is not bad considering they're keeping all this, these water safe. The second reason to get a fishing license is to protect the fish from overfishing. Depending on the type of license that you get um, and what region you are in and you plan to fish in, there will be a set of rules associated with your license telling you what you can and can't fish, where you can and can't fish and what times of the year you're allowed to fish. The third reason to want a fishing license is that it's illegal to fish without it and there's people going around uh, doing their job trying to catch people without a license and fines start at 300 euros, they may confiscate your gear and at the end of the day paying 20 or 30 euros a year for a fishing license is a lot better than a fine. Tip number one is get your license and fish safely. Don't let the fish police get you to get to you. Get your license, know what you're doing, know what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and you're gonna have a much better time. Number two is don't go to your local tackle shop and spend a ton of money on equipment. Start small, get yourself a little rod and some floaters, get a bit of bait together and we'll teach you how to make bait in future videos. Number three is don't give up. It's easy to find a lot of uh, big catches on the internet of people that catch huge fish, but have fun, practice a lot, Go closer where it's more convenient to you, see what bites and just keep practicing and you'll get better. Don't expect to catch your first fish the first time or the second or the fifth time, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. Just keep practicing. Thanks for joining us today fishing on the River Algarz, the border between Aragon and Catalonia in Spain. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment or a like, and most importantly, have a great day.